guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog, 1222 hours, August 8th, 2014, and Cradle Day 2 assembly continues.
side up. Now with that side, you're going to have to roll it up and then roll it over that way with the wheels unlocked. Your main point is you don't want that wheel to move. That's what you care about. Thank you. 
still gotta go over. Quite a few uh, feet. That's not. We gotta go over quite a bit. Yeah, I got a foot and a half on my side. Alright, so we gotta go over. So, we'll move the planers. We so that wall on that side has to go south and west. It has to go south about a foot and a half and west about three feet. Maybe two. Batman, support that beam. Yep. Okay, come back this way. Come south. Come south. Hold your position there. Batman, set that on top. Now, come down your ladder and readjust. The ladder's going to have to move to the top of your ladder. Right Lock your wheel. Right. Even if it's just for a second.
top. If, if we get two in the top and one in the bottom, that helps a lot. Okay. All right. Yeah, two in the bottom first. Head eight. Somebody grab the center. Smile, you're on camera. Go for a ride. By the way, for the 10,000 people watching, this is actually Megan. She is absolutely not Rose. Rose works in the front. Of hey, quit breaking my balls! <laughs> Hop in. You're totally safe. Really. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I start driving. 
My wrench is in the official tool holder. You want to be in the box? No, I don't want to be in the box. No, be in the box. box. It's a big camera van. You can be in the box. <laughs> if I'm looking up at what you're doing, it immediately All communicates, hey, they're in the air. Whereas if I'm looking over at it, it's just boring. Also, I look taller. I need that. Hey! I won't want to rush you or nothing. I'm working on it. I'm just breaking your balls. You know, if you turn that around before you stick it back in there, it'd be easier to put that back in the bay. Next week, we ought to see the piano to get rid of that damn thing. Lean into the corner or hang on to something. This is the part where there's a bang. Okay. That, he sucks at this pretty bad, so we can die. <laughs> it's always the gentle part. Yeah, this is the delicate gentle part. And don't have your hands out in this area. Yeah. Because big metal fits. Also important thing to remember, keep standing until he gets all the way in. Because sometimes if you bend down, stop to hook on the safety cable down here. Mm -hmm. and you're like waiting here for him to come in, you crack your head on that <laughs> bar right there when he comes slamming in. Ah. Hey, that was my grill, yo. It only happened once, but I had to get 684 stitches. They had to put my brain back inside, and they put it in twisted halfway, and I voted Republican for two elections. I'm glad to hear it got on twisted. I'm doing all right now. I'm starting to like Ron Paul a lot, so... Why are there trees? The love illusion is because the last thing we did was kind of tree. I love everything about Ron Paul except for one thing. Watch out over here. He's I see it. too old to be president now? No, no. He'll never get elected. That's the part that bothers me. Yeah. <laughs> I love Ron Paul. If only... You, I figured out the one thing wrong with Ron Paul. He, he has no gravitas. He does he's not presidential. He's awesome, he's great, but it what he's saying is awesome. He has the perfect message. But how he says it, you can't have a president who looks he he's not a president, he's a toady. Okay, he's vice president, maybe. But if I could get a president with gravitas, somebody with a pair, yeah, I got my wrench. With a pair, we'd be set. <laughs> I'm like 10 feet in the air in a man cage. You got you and I got trade sides. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could put my harness on if you really want. I don't. That's a crack and that's all. That thing's more dangerous than my rock climbing harness. Your orange, old orange one. Yeah, we'd have to put you in that green one. No, like the the full body harness. Those um, things are more dangerous than my climbing harness. I'll take a, I'll take a fucking hard aid harness any day. This gonna be close enough. Swing me in there. Stop. Swing me that way. I figured you want to stay flat so that we could use the fork up the whole way. I do, but it's not going to happen as usual. Batman. Batman. The bar is going to go right here. The bar is not going to go through here. We can do that, but if we build it that way, we're going to swing it that way. I'm going to cry. You just wanted to be moved over. Yes. <laughs> Get as parallel as you can without peeling off that little bracket. But I want you to That's be nervous about peeling off that bracket. I want you so close you're nervous about hitting that bracket. You get that close. Now bring your ass head in. Keep coming. Gently. There you go. That's about close enough. Alright, stop. Now take me straight up.
Goodbye, baby. Don't be scared. It's all right. I'll take good care of you. Come on. Come on. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Casey. I need B. B? You know, help him. Batman. Why? Why do I have B? A small rope B. Yeah, but that's six. This is B. Right. Over there There's I have legs. three. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the middle yeah, but that says A right there. This is... Oh, oh. I don't give a shit. Just get A. Hey, it's B. It, it matches on the other the one. Alright, I got it. March on up. Hold his ladder. Over your shoulder, not under. There you go. You're an idiot. Yeah, you put your ladder back a foot too far. When you have to work on top of a ladder, you want to lean. He's about to use his shoulder to hold the weight. You got to push the little black things to the middle. Huh? Some of them might be a little off on their space and they might have to be opened up to be widened or something. Yeah, they, they might not all be unscrewed enough. We're not talking about the actual brackets. Might have to be screwed. You moved the brackets? I didn't. They had to be so they could disassemble it. It was off square. Again. Oh, okay. That's why I hopefully I fixed that problem. This Will that fit between your two brackets? No. Alright, then set it on top of your ladder. Spread your brackets. You good? Uh, don't use that wrench. That wrench sucks. You might need yours then. Yeah. You want a better wrench? I don't know yet. Alright, let me know when you know. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm good. You good? Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, that's what you want. Okay, now tighten down the back before you tighten down the sides, because I, I'm not in yet. I am, however, perfectly lined up, so you can tighten up the back and snug those right in and you'll be good. Hey Casey, don't tighten them all the way down, just snug. Okay. Because it's going to have to be able to shift as I do this side. And you're going to want to be able, the idea is that when you tighten the middle ones, if the backs are too tight, they won't snug in together, so it'll all just perfectly fit if you tighten them all a little bit at a time. You ready? I'm going to do my side. Okay, here we go. i got to go your way a little. Good. Go, really. No, I gotta, okay. I gotta, I gotta have another two inches. You guys, hold it. It's gonna be a little. Yeah. Weird. You three right got, you two guys have to go out a little bit. Just a little bit. Isn't it fun, Casey? Isn't it easy? Okay. There we go. You're the one who wants to. Hang on a minute. I go flush to the bottom, right? Or flush to the 
Shit. Come Stop. apart. I'm in the wrong hole. The beams should line right up to each other. You see that way a little bit. Yeah, I know. You Careful, your up. leg's bowing out as well. You ought to be on this side. I've got the brackets in the top. Come on in. Casey, smack the end. Yes, no? Uh, we'll see. I need the dead blow. Ready? Yep. Beautiful. All right, Casey, you can start tightening everything down. I think before the end of the month, we need to go to Coochie's and buy more wrenches that are nicer. I think we need more wrenches, and I think we need to talk to Matt about better bolts. Because these are old and pretty chewed up. I got bolts up here that I can start classifying as router bits. It's like, well, that one's about half round. It's not really rounded out yet, but it's about half rounded out. Ah, for the price, you think they give you a higher quality of bolt. Right. That's a bad sound. <laughs> you need mine, Casey? <laughs> Size of it, I've heard that sound as it's falling down the inside of the radio tower you just climbed. Ooh. That really sucks. <laughs> Good exercise. It's not bad when you're low enough to the ground where you can just have somebody hand the wrench back up. It really sucks when you hear it go ping, 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 ping. <laughs> as it's going down 500 feet, you're just like, well, that's dead to me now. All right, I'm ready when you are. Upside down. Huh? I was upside down and this thing just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That'll pucker your ass up, won't it? So. It was the best reaction ever. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, you can hold yourself in that machine with nothing but the cheeks of your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that was... Alright, that's the first bar. At this point, don't walk away, but see if you two can just let go and it's stable. Is it all right? Okay. We're gonna do this for another hour and we'll come back when we're finishing up the last one and then you can like, catch up. Fine, you're really not missing that much. All right. So it's good. 1350 hours. The last corner is in and done. There you go. Lots of bolts, lots of brackets, all through the magic of 8020. Cool. That side doesn't get any. I don't know why, but there's, there was a reason that those don't go there. Uh, so Casey's wrapping up his side over there. And you can look out and see the beautiful metalworking we've done today. So all we got is two pieces on the bottom and, and we're pretty much done. Yeah. Come on down. Be mindful there's a beam right underneath. I, I'm yeah, he knows. Okay. Hang on. When we come back, we'll do the corner pieces here. Well, okay. 
Yeah, and, we gotta uh, take that part. and then we gotta take the back one apart and redo Just it. Just one end though, and we can slide all the. Pins. Yeah. I'm also gonna showcase an idea. Maybe we'll be able to do some CNC. Mode. All right. Thanks for choosing Batman's Wet and Wild Ride. You didn't know there was a door in the man lift? Yeah, we never use it, but there it is. We're going to lunch now. We can do it. He sits. He sits. Hi there, guys. Time is 1400 hours straight up. Viewer mail on time today. Drew is not here today, but he was yesterday. He brought by a box of goodies, so thank you, Drew. And oh, Yes. Air swivel plug. Hey Batman, we got hinges and hinges and hinges and high voltage terminals. Or you could call them drawer knobs. And hinges, two matching sets. And I think these are the auto close ones. Yeah, these are spring hinges. These close under them. And there's, there's even, that's a door there, and that's a smaller door there. That's a residential door. It's a residential door, and we got hooks for hanging things on. Tape and poly on the same roll. That's not a bad idea. This might have come from like an automotive masking thing, but we need a masking tree. Why the hell do we not have a masking tree? Have you ever seen, do you know what I'm talking about? It's like the wire tree. Except the masking tree is usually, it's like a little A-frame or a little card of some manner. And it has a roller, like this, like a bar that comes out. And you put a roll of paper on there. And then there's another little bar that comes out here with a holder that holds a reel of tape. And you can adjust it so it lines up perfectly. And the way it works is you grab it and you pull. And you get a piece of paper of varying widths with tape exactly half on the edge. And you just go, and it tears off. And then you put on the side of the car. It's really awesome. I've used these. In fact, I use them in painting my summer car, and my winter car, both cars. And we have this, which is excellent for removing zits. It's a zit removal tool. And then we have lots of little bolts that I'll bet are the same size as these. And... Part of the zit removal kit. No, Looks like a number seven. It's a... It's kind of chewed up. It might be 13 sixty-fourths. It's a drill bit. It's round. It's about that long. Cool. Thank you, Drew. Batman, you can sort all this up. Hey, don't give me any shit. Some of you guys have a... I've seen my fans. Some of you have a complexion that resembles the surface of Mars. Could help. That there was a non-trivial portion of my life where I had a face that looked like a cake that had been left out in the rain. Puberty was really not kind. The plastic is heat shrink. The plastic is heat shrink? Or windows. It's window open. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Geek group. Felt says just geek group. And it is... Ooh. Yes, it's a good Usanto. Usanto. Jasmine Strong, holding a flashlight in your mouth, cause you need your hands free is no way to live. Have this ridiculously obvious way to avoid this, because nobody needs to see Batman with a mag light in his mouth. Oh, from the tunnel thing. Yeah? It was I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably what that's from. Heroic you, bless you. Speaking of flashlights, it was on the table. Where's it at? That, that, god damn. All right, you wanted a review. Here's my first review on the Phoenix LD12, which a lot of people told me was an awesome flashlight. I picked this one first because I like the look of it, I like the size, this is everything I want in a flashlight. It's only got one small problem. Doesn't fucking work at all. Nothing happens. Did I put a battery in it? Yes, because I'm not an idiot. Did I put the battery in the right way? Yes, because I'm not an idiot. Did I test the battery and make sure that it was a good battery? Yes, because I'm not an idiot. You put the cap in, it's DOA. I got a DOA flashlight. 
I don't blame Harvey, I blame quality control at Phoenix. I am not impressed with the first flashlight. Phoenix, or Phoenix, or whoever the hell you are, do better. That one fails. It's shite. That is my official review on the Phoenix Phoenix LD12. And somebody tell me how to say it properly because I don't honestly know. You probably don't make fun. A lot of LED finger lights. They look like, yeah. Everything's better with LEDs. This is from Aziz. So let me get this straight. You don't like rose water and you were defeated by a lollipop. What's your idea of foreign foods that you can actually handle? Mexican Hot Pockets? <laughs> <laughs> Had it occurred to you that I have a particularly American palate and have no interest in foreign foods? The only rule that I have ever discovered of foreign foods that is universally true is no matter where you are traveling in the world, if there is a street vendor selling some manner of meat on a stick and he has a crowd of locals, tourists don't eat that. Locals eat that. So A, that's safe to eat, and B, never. Ever ask what the meat is. Just eat it, look grateful, tip well. Don't ask what the meat is because some people eat some interesting shit, and man... Only so. tip well if you know that that's okay. Yes. yes. I tell you, Naked Tuesdays just got way more fun. See, it's a communicator light. Ready! Red light, green light! Ah, God! Thank you, sir! These are going to be fun. These make me want to do a zomb, just for these. Do you have those zomb? Oh. The box! Ooh! I told you guys I would do a review on Quinn's Vape. You... If you're not familiar with this, um, the old Obsidian Vapor is no more. The company who made the best e-juice in the United States. They are no more. It is now Quinn's. He sent me a note and said thanks again. I still have not called him yet. You this heard week. why this shipment was late, right? I didn't know it was late. They're based out of Toledo. Okay. Oh. Oh. They have to sterilize their stuff? Everything, yeah. He's, There's no water in these. Though. They have to sterilize the bottles. He oh. had to tighten it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> How tight do you got to make This it? part here was just a little loose. You had to tighten it and everything was good there. Oh, the other end? The head end? The, was the head good. end was a little loose. <laughs> you always got to check that with a new flashlight. <laughs> you call yourself a flashlight nerd. <laughs> I just got owned pretty bad there, didn't I? I should have let you check this first. I? Should have just been, Batman, I can't make the damn thing work. Oh. Fix it. Then I'd have been fine. I'd have been, I would have saved myself this whole moment now. <laughs> I just need to kill myself a little bit. Love you. I'll be getting my ice cream punch card. <laughs> no, I got a better plan. You know what we do? What's that? Alright guys, so it's 2 o'clock and it's time for viewer mail. <laughs> No, what up? All right, I will give this a proper review. My bad. I'm an idiot. It happens with surprising regularity. In other news, I have checked out this flashlight, and I like it a lot. This is the 4.7's Mini M2A, and this one I like. So that'll be getting a detailed review. But Quinn's, who is in Toledo, I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of Ohio. Come here. Grand Rapids is a great so place to build a business. The, the, We'd be happy to help. The point I was getting to is he sent me an email apologizing for the delay in the shipment. It got here today instead of two days ago. That's an amazing shipping time regardless. I'm thrilled. I have no complaints at all. So, my initial response, my initial thoughts on the Quinn's pomegranate menthol, which is my favorite flavor. It's the old pomegranate. I just bought two more bottles because I emptied the first. That's how much I like it. So, 
That's my opinion on Quinn's. I will be contacting Quinn's in the future. Um, if you're watching this or if somebody, somebody send a copy of this to Quinn's and guys give me a call. You just send me a private message on Facebook or something and uh, I'm easy to find on Facebook. It's not hard. So we'll rock out. That's it for viewer mail today on this day of I'm a damn fool. I did the bottom. Right. Fine. You have to tighten the top too. Every now and then. Unless it's a single piece. Sometimes they're single pieces. That one you can you can take it apart. Oh no! It, it's in the middle! And wow, if you have that, look how look how much it changes here. It's on? Okay. If that's loose, by less than 20 degrees. Okay, that's that's as tight as I dare. And we line up to the line. I go over here. And it's off. That's it. That seems like a poor design. It's a really sexy flashlight. If you, what's the button on the side? Here? Oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's I like that. All right, I gotta admit, it's a pretty sexy flashlight. So I'll check it out and see what I think. Um, in other reviews, so we've been using the staff radios, and those seem to be working pretty well. Batman. Yeah. What is your review of the staff radio? The only issue I'm having is my antenna is popping off. Right. I got that the problem cover. too. The antenna cover? Yeah. Yep. Show me. What do you mean? I keep having, well now it won't do it. But like, while it's started in, the black part will unsheath and the scrimmy part will be exposed. Ooh, that's that bad. That keeps happening. Blew it. Um, and lose 50 pounds. So, yeah. Mine's Other than that, mine's fine. Pokes me at the opportune time. So the radios are awesome and we love them. Thank you, Harvey. He was asking me about that last night. Apparently he hadn't seen yesterday's episode yet. So that's what I got. Any questions from the IRC? You guys have fun. Thank you, everybody, for helping out. And yes, I know, enjoy yourselves in the comments because I can only imagine how much I'm going to get pwned on this. So we'll be back. Okay, you're good? Oh, that's excellent. Okay. Alright, all these are going to that one beam so I can do one. So that's for the other end. Yeah. Right. This end, do I get the washers or? Yeah, we're going to have to use the washers. Because we're using these. these. Right. Alright, I got it. Put me in. Okay. 
should put it like almost right on the seat. Why? It's not like that. Uh, so, you want to know a special level of fun? Uh, the big wrench that you have to, you know, the big wrench for these, for uh -huh. these is magnetic. So if you stick it through to line the thing up, uh -huh. when you pull it out, it moves it back out. Because it's magnetic. For entertainment value. Alright, that side's good. Put me over there. Yeah? Yeah. I'm all for you trying bomb granite. I think that's a great idea. I'm glad it right there. Drill press right there. Ah, just stop. It. Okay. Line up. Back up. Line in. I'm patient. Alright, man. You want to be? Up. We can do some side shifts. Yeah, that's what I plan on. Alright, stop. Hand me the part. I don't think the tool's magnetic. I think the bit's magnetic. It's sitting in a tray. I got a theory. Hmm. I just saw something. Let me let me try an experiment here. Take me up a bit. Hold it right there. Does that one actually have the marring on the beam? I can see the mark on the inside of the beam from this angle, oh, where cool. the screw dug in. So I'm going to lock the thing in position there and we'll see if everything else lines up. Can I see a mark on this side? I do not see a mark on this you side. You should see some exterior marring though, from where it was resting on the outside of it. Not really. Because huh. on, on that leg, you could see it very clearly. That's on that leg. Side. This is the other leg. Can you come forward like a foot? Yeah. Okay. Good. Hold it there. Huh? What? No shit! Really? I'm wow, thanks for clearing that up for me. I'm glad, man, I wouldn't have figured that out if it weren't for Batman. I'd have never, never had that. Never, never, never. never. No. Well, no what way. I saw is you would have hit the, the cage. I wasn't worried about it. Okay, now that, that's off on this side. Nick, I'm going to laugh when it collapses. That's off on that side, and I can't, if I leave it like that, I'm not going to be able to. So i got to move that. Yeah, that mark's in the wrong spot. Whoa, that left. Come back here. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, they just zip right off. All right, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Bring this in. Switch to my other wrench. I need the big one. Gotta go down here.
Yeah, that's that's gonna be way over there. It's off by a couple inches from where it was indicated. That may have just been Paul tightening the screw, because when he did it from Kalamazoo, he'd remove a piece and tighten the screw back where it was. Ah. Ish. Okay. Uh. Alright, that's in. Set your and then I'm going to replace this set screw. Ah. Alright. Did you do it on the uprights? Ah, no. Stand by. Those are the most pain in the ass. Yeah. So now that's in the right spot. Good. I'm going to take that corner. Yeah. Watch out for the ladder. Yeah. That's why I'm going to go that corner. Casey, can you move the ladder out of the inside? You got a beam behind you. Oh, yeah. Spin, spin, spin. Right there's good, just spin it in. Come forward a little bit. And continue your turn. Come forward. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh shit. Oh, I don't have anything up there. Right, we have to mm -hmm. take one end off. Slide them all in. So I gotta do this the hard way, don't I? Yeah. Alright. So you're gonna want you're gonna have to have Casey down here helping hold. Yeah. Hop off, move that beam. Some of the little ones, yeah. So you should have six T nuts, three for each end. So that I'm of the T nuts, I got four. Oh, you mean these? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got six of those. Okay. Yeah. I got four of the big ones. Yeah. It's two for each screw, then you need Okay, you want to give me six? Huh? You want to give me six, or do you need another hand? No, 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 no. You only need four of them. Remember, the third... It's three for each end. The third one receives Okay, the, I'm the with you. So you gave me one extra. What, I give you five? Five. Yeah, I gave you an extra. Okay, that's why I love you. Okay, now back up and get squared in. All right. This is going to suck so bad. Hands inside. Are you close enough? Watch your head. Okay. Come in. Okay, good. Come on up. Going. Now there's no possible way to put a T nut in. No, there it is. Now they sell rolling ones. Good. They oh. sell they sell what's called a rolling one, which that'd be pretty handy right about now. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad the dude on the video didn't actually show them what the hell they look like. Okay. Are you going to need monkey grill man up there again? Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to need that. I don't know, let me see. Okay, so that put it pretty well centered on that scene. Yeah, you Cool. What would we say? Hey, monkey! You got like 15 places you could stand. Why are you standing there? Hey Nick, do you know how to climb? He's gonna need you up there again. Hey Nick, come on up. 
Six along the top. Six along, Six the, along bottom, the top. The bottom of the beam. Yeah, I know. The, yeah. But the top beam. Yeah. The bottom of the top beam. Yeah. And this uh, three will go all the way down to that end, and three will stay at your end. Alright. Hey Batman! Yeah. There's one. Batman. Yeah. There's two. No? It's upside down. You put them in upside down, they won't slide. Alright. I just learned that. There's two. Turn that roll. Batman. Yeah. There's three. Cool. Batman! Yeah. Guess what? What? That's four. Alright. Four. Ah, ah, ah. Five D-nuts. Ah, ah, ah. And seven. There you go. Alright. Okay. Wait a minute. Now, a leg on one side, arm on the other, pull my screwdriver out. And my Klein screwdriver is none the worse for wear, because Klein makes a goddamn quality tool. Alright, I'm going to bolt all this back together. I wonder if they make all right now, right? Klein? Yeah. I've never owned a Klein tool I didn't like. Their first generation ratchet strippers kind of sucked, but they, they made better in the end. Nurse Ratchet. Alright, at this point, extraneous video staff can go on with their day. Thank you for your help. Go on with their day. Armin Hander Goldbond, with your day. Fuck all of you. Give me any shit, I'll teach you all how to set up your flashlight. Yes. <laughs> Free food. They, they were crickets. They've been open for the past few days. They might be Put it there. down! Steven. Please do not feed or tease the random Italians. Are you thinking that $500 is going to spend on a copper flashlight? I think 500 no, bucks is fucking not. insane to spend on a copper flashlight. <laughs> Unless you're like NASA. <laughs> Even Darko would look at that and go, that's a bit much to spend. <laughs> $500 flashlight. Better say Lockheed on the side of the exactly. fucking thing. Alright, Batman! Yeah. Take me down a little bit. There you go. <laughs> I have a gun, and you're easy to hit. Oh, that's lovely. Right there. Yes. Now, if you would please grab me one of the corner pieces. Can you say that's 
Yeah, we, we, all the T-nuts are now in the beam that we need. Yeah, so it should just work. Okay. You could be working on steam engines now. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Our nation thanks you for your support. Oh, if these were like two inches longer, just set it right there. And make sure you slide all three one way. No shit. So I'll I, get there. I, uh, I say it because I almost made that mistake a couple times. It'll be alright. It's like these are when it's stopped. Batman. Yeah. I got this. Sure. I got this. I don't know if you want to steal or not, but I found the younger ladies. Wait. Yeah? Oh, I would love to have a chat with them. Okay, then I will set that aside for you. Thank you. Can you sort out the light thing, please? Uh, I will do that today. All right. That would be awesome. Uh, okay, now i got to figure out how to hold this, bend that, move that, twist this. Do a little dance. Make a little love. You know what makes it this down go really down. well? Huh? Doc Ock's arms are real. What? Doc Ock's I don't know he who had Doc eight. Ock is. He had eight. Well, he had four he giant had robotic eight. arms. That would be Dr. Octopus? Yes, Doc Ock. But Dr. Octopus is another villain from a different comic series that had to use Doc Ock. Got it. Okay. I think Playboy had it. That's a mental picture I just need. <laughs> I like tentacles. I'm all for quality tentacle form. I don't know. I've never seen any I didn't like. Ah! Not really into tentacle porn, so, you know. I've never understood the appeal. I can only imagine the comments that are going to come off of today's blog. With his savant knowledge of animation, I don't even want to know his opinion on tentacle porn. I think I can do better. Oh, done in flash. All right, yeah. Batman, yeah. take me that way. You are going to set that. I sent three down. All right, that one's still you put the set screw in. Stop yeah, it stops. Yeah, here. The other side. Oh no, I didn't. Stop it from sliding I off. Did. I did not put it in the other side. I'm doing it right now. Ten. Take me that way. They slid down. I put me in that almost, corner. Almost there. Almost there. You, can you see him? Yeah, I can see right. him. Then he'll be cool. Put you where you need to be. You'll be. Yeah, I should be able to reach him if you put me where I need to be. We're still recording. Ooh, I gotta reset it though. Okay, new clip. We were at 22 minutes. So now we're okay. Hi there, Internet. See, I don't know Doc Ock because that's a Spider Man thing and Spider Man sucks, so. Yeah, he really got into it. What? Well, he didn't when I was a 12 year old boy. Spider Man sucks, dude. Ever? The correct answer is uh, I I've watched the recent Spider-Man movies and was left lacking. Even the newest, newest one? Yeah, even the newest, newest one. And I was like, that, wow. Lame. That one I would have at least been impressed with if I hadn't already been started. I'd be pretty one. damn happy if they'd make more Batman movies and even more of the new Superman movies. The new Superman was alright. Uh, this new Superman vs. Uh, Batman ought to be interesting. I haven't seen that. It hasn't come out yet. Stop. I haven't seen a Superman vs. Batman that wasn't animated. Uh, they're doing it and... Did you have you seen who's Batman? No. Um, God damn it, I just had a name. Is it you? Uh, 
No, the guy who's playing Batman, Ben, uh, ben Affleck, yeah. Has oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah. Haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. That hasn't come out yet. So, what's your opinion on a Ben Affleck Batman? He's got the body for it. He's a white guy with a strong chin. He fills the only requirement. Yeah, you got a point there. He has, he has the body for chin. Have you seen Batman? He's got Batman has a bunch of chin. Did you see that, that Batman sings death metal thing I posted? It's animated. No, but I'm okay. That's hilarious because his chin changes from being a perfect square one to that one point. It's balls kind of just moving around as he's singing death metal. It's rather hilarious. I, I actually think you would get a good laugh out of it. Well, most of it too is also a lot of the video game references I absolutely laughed at. One, two, and three is way over there. It had Red Hood on the bass, and, or had Red Hood on guitar, Nightwing on bass, and Robin on the drums while Batman singing lead. Robin does not get to be a drummer. That is right out. I, I may have a rather strong personal opinion on that. Well, it's just funny, it was all three of the Robins. You had Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Batgirl shows up later, but much, much. Ah! I have got to get this on camera. I just hope that's pointed anywhere near the right way to see what the hell madness I'm doing later. Hey, you're close enough. Boom, got it. Alright, that's... That's in. That's in. Tight. Steven, what the hell was that all about? Oh. If only we had like a camera crane to do stuff. I know. If only we had a camera crane. That's getting time lapse. Oh, okay. Don't want to help us. You know, in the first version of the video we made of this, we all it was all okay. It was so bad. It was so very bad. It may have been our first. That was. It's what we had. It was adventure on the camera. We did not do. We never did color correction until you two guys started making videos. Then why did it look like they had taken because they black and white? Yeah. You gotta put your, your set your teeth the other teeth. Oh yeah. Yeah, we we never did color correction until you guys got into the picture. Get it? Get it? Uh picture. Yeah, I don't think That's big. Fuck. <laughs> It's okay, I could be part of it. Alright. Good now. The upper structure is done. The upper structure is done. It is time for hanging the balls. Huh? No, we, we can. Oh shit. Yeah. We, we, I say we, have, we, got, we gotta have the structure there. Let's hang all the upper wires and then we'll hang the. We'll do oh, the yeah, bottom to hang the ball. Yeah. Hey! Shut the fuck up. Dude, if I could afford it, I would be totally okay with having an entire house made out of 8020. Huh? 
Ja! Ja! Diamond plate and 80-20 house. I would live there. Damn straight. Do you know what it would cost to build an 80-20 house? Yeah. You're, even a small 80-20 wouldn't donate that much. How many do you want at a time? Half of them? Okay. Seems like a nice starting point. Just bring the whole bundle over. I can do this. I got skills. Huh? Oh, I don't worry. They don't weigh a lot individually. <laughs> but all together. So let's go on this side. Yep. Okay. I got it. Okay. Let's just drop cool. it on. Yeah, cool. Totally made it barley. I kind of felt like I'm glad he made the reference and I didn't. It won't. I'll be in the air. Because if I made the reference, hey, Twain would have punched me. Take us up. Have I mentioned that you're a fat cunt? It doesn't click. Have I, have I mentioned that? Uh huh. You're just pissed about the flashlights now. <laughs> Fuck you and your flashlight. Yeah, that was pretty good. All right, so let's go down this side, and then we'll come back up this side. Okay. All right. She's in my way. This is the coolest part of the time lapse, just so you know. This is like. Yeah, it's gonna look neat. So we want the turnbuckles at the top. Yeah. Which end do you want to? Do you want to start at the far end with me back in? No, I'm going to start at this end, going that way, and then that end we'll do backwards. So get in on a good, nice, perfect line. Hey, load shift me all the way to your right. Is that where you're going to be about closest? You want to go up? Give or take, yeah. Is good. Oh yeah, this doesn't suck at all. This, this isn't this isn't a tangle fucking rat's nest or nothing. That's better than what it was in the tunnel. We're gonna have to re-level all of these. All balls. the turnbuckles were all sorts of fucked up. Alright. But you know what's cool? What? We have a laser level now. We do have a laser level, and I love the idea of having the balls like perfectly Aligned because with, with level the time I touching. spent on the spacing of everything, and we spend the time with perfect levelness, it should probably be the most efficient we've ever been. Yeah, and I'm excited about that. I, I would like it to actually, you know, work would be pretty cool because we didn't have the level of equipment back then that we do now, right? Thanks to awesome viewers, yes, thanks to the support of. Who the hell donated the laser level? I know it. Um, it was a fast cap. Fast cap sent us a laser level. There's a kink in my line. I know. The balls will take it out. Yeah. There's as long as the balls are touching, it'll take the kinky out. Then it's okay. As long as the balls are touching. I'm just glad none of the upper cubes were missing. I noticed that you guys had to grind them all down to fit. Yeah, they all had to be modified. That sucked. That was a job. Yeah. I noticed some of the bottom ones are missing, but I think those are the spares. Come here! Come here! Bastard! Oh, this, this quick link is stainless. Half of them are, half of them are, which makes me worried about rust issues. I'm not worried about rust with stainless versus aluminum. Well, some, not all the Q-links are stainless. So. Yeah, but the ones that aren't are uh, aluminum. Oh, okay. 
No, they're not. They're zinc plated steel. So which means that they're scratched up and all the rough. Yeah, yeah. It's okay because we never use this outside, so we'll be fine. As it's about to sit outside. As it's about to sit outside for the week. Yeah. All right. Did you see the supply request I made during lunch? No, what? The 32 foot rainbow parachute they have them on Amazon. How much? Yeah. 120 bucks. 120 bucks? Yep. For a 32 foot rainbow parachute? Yep, it's the biggest one they have. It was like $100. You different. use it with a group of school kids. You make tents. You put How much is it? 120 it. bucks? 120 bucks and it's expensive shipping and handling. Why is the shipping and handling expensive? It folds into a box this way. Take me forward. Maybe it's something else. All right, so you send a link to that? Yeah, Steve, make sure I don't run over. Oh, you have that cable. All right, make sure I don't run over the cable here. Hey, Moose. Uh, Moose to the NBA, please. Hold on, five minutes. Rocco to the NBA, please. Rocco to the NBA. Oh, we put Mackie on the parachute and start running. Oh, oh. It's already so good at it. Well, by two. Yeah, the department I put it under two was morale. There's a morale department in No. Uh -huh. But that's what I put under the. So. Hi there, kids. If you check the latest request form from Batman, it was posted over lunch. Batman discovered a 32-foot rainbow parachute on Super Duper sale for 120 bucks on Amazon. I would like you two to go to the IRC and do a quick fundraiser and order that. Because awesome, awesome thing for video, for school groups. Uh, I selected the 32 foot one. Was like 100. Forward! Because, like, the pricing, if you get the 12 foot one, it's only like 20 bucks. So it's not. Maybe. That's all I needed. I want you two to sort this out in the next hour. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Hey, there's a bit of zip tie on that one you put up. Where? Oh, it's right. right on the symbol. So do we do something, because every night I'm going to have to take the balls off. Do I run like a cable through the ends of them and lock it to the legs? That's what I would do. Just with a padlock. Yeah. That'll keep people from stealing too much. Shit. Well, it's stop them from trying to swing on it. That's all I'm going to Yeah. Do. I'm, I'm going to see about getting a handful of the quick links, because we're probably going to lose some. The turnbuckles should be fine that high up in the air. And Some idiot's going to try and climb this. Probably. Sign, sign, well, like, during, during Art Prize, the museum had the construction orange fencing up, and their security would walk around outside as well. I don't know if they're going to be Have doing that. Have you never that. seen a movie? Museum security guards are like the easiest. Babysitter. Yeah, I'm not leaving this thing outside for that. I, I already have a couple friends who said they're willing to volunteer. Even, yeah? the, even Nikki wants to help volunteer. Cool. I was like, all the volunteers. We get rid of the bugs that get vandalized on this grass. You just kill one of our big transformers. Yeah, let's invent up one wire. Yeah, we leave a small pile of free scrap away from it, so it draws the scrappers to that instead of this. God, can you oh, imagine I'm having kind of scrappers of take this? Well, if we were going oh to the my Detroit God. Maker, Forward. if we were outside of the Detroit Maker Fair, it'd be gone in the night. Yeah. yeah. But Grand Rapids, you should be fine at an event like this. <laughs> I was imagining it. 
I think the scrapyard would notice. And 8020 is also really easy to notice. All I have to do is file a police report. To take the police report down to the scrapyard and go, that's my shit. Give it back and give this nice police officer the name and information of the fuck that we just brought him in. Yeah, you go to the scrapyard, they take your thumbprint. Enterprise supposed to them. You'd almost think they, you know, have to deal with this shit on radio. Happen, actually, it happens so often that there is a national network. That's what they're part of, too. That's the thumbprint. Uh, yeah. Tries to try and take it, out of state. it happens. Spray paint comes right off. Yes. As the tone right? Yeah. yeah. We we've dealt with that. They had the truck tag one day, remember? Yeah, we had to clean the out the entire box truck, truck was tagged. Within two hours, we had it white again. And went through, that. went through a gallon of acid. Oh, yeah. that Forward. That was back when uh, Peter was here with Marcus. Ah. I remember when the geek group had scurvy. Stop! Good. I'm going to check my clip time. Ooh, my battery's going dead. Cote Williams were setting up the computer lab. It's computer wide We got a whole day of repetitive, tedious shit. Yeah. So we gotta do this, and then we gotta do uh, Groucho. That's gonna be fun. Today's Friday, right? Yeah. Yep. Wow, I gotta do Van. Oh, shit. Yeah. I won't be able to pull the van. No, as, as long as it's not hot. We'll just leave the Rocco says if it's not too hot, he can work outside. Squeak might also show up to actually hook up the strobe lights too. Because he worked on that strobe bar. He knows that strobe bar inside now. That'd be really cool if he hooked that up. Yeah. Can I hold off on bothering Edgar about the video? Yes. Okay. I also need a CNC video out sometime soon. I have two. Good. It's been entirely too damn long. It's been like a week and a half. I understand Okay. It. Hi! How are you doing? You got your nipple rings in? We can hang you from this. Okay. Okay. Does he have his nipple rings in? We can hang him. Sorry, that's too funny. Oh, okay. Don't trip on my balls. Then she'd be tripping balls. Uh -huh. oh. What? That's a fetish. Oh. Yeah, What's a fetish? Ball crushing. Yeah, I just know. I had a conversation with somebody yesterday or the day before. No, no, I was explaining to them um, how you could use CBT as an educational tool. They Googled CBT and got cognitive behavioral therapy when I actually meant cock and ball torture. And the conversation, the, they walked away with a very different impression from the conversation than I had intended. Well, there's a post, you know what the worst fetish in the world would be? What? Being attracted to your own plastic penis. <laughs> Is 
That's cool. That would be the worst fetish in the world, being attracted to your own flaccid penis. A whole lifetime of continued disappointment. So the masochist turned to the sadist and said, hurt me. And the sadist said, no. Thank you. Thank you. This is like a Polish marionette show. Aren't you afraid of those things? What? Marionettes? No. Why? I thought that was a thing for a while. I think they're creepy as oh, that fuck, was but really yeah. I've never understood the, the whole marionette thing. I just was like, start, ah. I'll start hanging them in the dark parts of the I, I dated a girl years and years ago, Chicklet, who was terrified of them. Like, that was, that was a legit phobia. She was terrified of marionettes. As is Kelly. Kelly is actually a marionette. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, would explain a lot. Of anybody I've ever met who I would want to see in the, the, it was a musical with a girl with strings and a marionette thing, you would be the one. That, that worked. It might have been. I don't know. No, she was, she was in a music time. box. Yeah. But there was, there was Chicago where they were doing a marionette. It was Chicago. That was it. It was Chicago. All right, forward. Yup, it was Chicago. Yeah, I'd pick her over Renee Zellweger. Oh day. god, yes. Kelly's way hotter. Ford, 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 Ford. Stop right there. That should be the last placement for this side. Right. Ah, shit! You kind of need that turn puck last. Ah. Just dropping the whole thing. This one's missing a thing. What is it missing? The thing. Oh, the queuing? Yeah. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to drop it. It's easier for you to sort out down low. Oh, this is Jovi in my fucking head. That's how well, horrible it was. Bad enough. 
Bon Jovi is on par with that. Because now I'm going to spend the whole rest of my day with living on a prayer stuck in my head. Do not boop the camera. It is right out. No camera booping. I almost caught it yesterday. Okay. I'm in a good spot actually. I can do this. Yeah, I got a good positioning. I'm in a good spot. I'm a happy guy. This is one of the most fun days at work I've had in a long time. Okay. Usually, I have to spend so much time running around, I don't ever get to actually work on a project. It has been a while. Yeah. Plus, I get to spend a day working in the air, doing ironwork type stuff, and I like ironwork. This is fun. This is where we'll find out we're missing like four cables. It's all right, we know how to make them, and you can model them out from one of these. And we've got all the parts in stock to make another one. Anything we don't have, we know exactly where to go to get it, because it all came from Lowe's, except for the green cable. Which I have that spool hidden away somewhere yep. so well that I don't even know where it is. We, we have a backup spool of the green, because we keep extra parts and we do major projects, because we're smart. Okay, we're not smart, we just screwed it up so many goddamn times, we've learned. Not a bad image. I can do you one words. What? I have no idea. You're just doing eighth notes. You got That's kind of what it is. What's, what's the, the name of the Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? Oh, fuck you. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Why would you want to know? Don't you mind about tomorrow? Shut up. Casey, what the hell's up with no, this 8-inch cap? No, it's what's the buzz, not what the fuck. What's your 8-inch cap? 8-inch cap on this beam on your side. Ah. Wow, dude! Is it just on the bottom? Because I couldn't see the bottom. That's big enough you could fuck it. Yeah, he could. Yeah, all right, Thank back you. us up. All the wrenches there. Hang on a second. It's tight at the top, it's just out at the bottom. That's no good. It's all right. It's, it's solid. You gotta bend the damn tube to make it fit in the hole. Hang on, Batman. I don't know why you gotta fuck with the goddamn frame. Kids coming in here like they know what they're doing. Oh, they don't. The I'll Move tell you how to be a goddamn metal worker. You gotta out. get up there. Yeah, it's just gotta the work in a safe and proficient manner. Makes a note. Goddamn kids coming in here like they own the joint. Been on the job five minutes, not even in a goddamn union. That's the problem. Gotta get some fucking union labor in here and do it right. Why? Why is this fucking thing so big? Because the point of this is to be the world's largest Newton's cradle. Okay. That's why it's so big. Why is it so wide? If I wanted to make the world's smallest Newton's cradle, then it would be appreciably smaller than this. Is there a purpose for other beams? Why does it? Stability of the balls. <laughs> <laughs> so when the balls are swinging, they stay stable in, in online. Yeah, the more narrow it is, the more the balls wiggle side to side. Gotcha. Wiggle, 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 yeah. So why not do like a experiment? 
Huh? That's hard. Because you got to get the tops far apart. Because a, a rectangle is easier than a goddamn pyramid. Yeah. I'm all for completely rebuilding this from scratch in a much sexier, more stylistic design. But and, and we'll turn this into your. This shit's crazy expensive. Are you just going through the whole fucking play in your head? Okay. Hosanna's next. Hosanna, say, Zanna, Zanna, Zanna. Hosanna. Down. I always love that dude's voice in the book. He's the beast of a bear. Oh, you serious? No, the priest. Oh. I get it. Beast of a bass voice. I think Judas in the original was Grady Tate. So you are the Christ, you're the great, great Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Prove to me that you're divine. Change this water into wine. That's all you need to do. Then we'll know it's all true. Come on, King of the Jews. Fuck you. Just fuck. You. I'll, I'll get the gold. Jesus, drink. you just won't believe the hit you've made round here. I'll totally you are all we talk about, the wonder of the year. I'll get a gold speedo and grow the pro. Really? Fully totally reenacted. The whole, the whole internet wants to see you in a gold speedo. Yeah, gold sparkly speedo. A sparkly gold speedo. If you had a sparkly gold speedo, would that mean you had disco balls? Huh? Disco balls? It is a 70s play. Yeah. By Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yep. He put the Jesus Christ in Superstar. Oh, I think we should make Mr. Bellatini into Fagin. I think he'd be the best Fagin ever. That's a completely different play, but okay. I know, but it just popped into my head. I was trying to picture different people no, no, around doing different too, roles. He'd be, he'd Fagin. be two good characters. Back up. The Phantom, because of his capability of just climbing around and being really he quiet. would He would be an excellent Phantom of the Opera. Stop. If, if the Phantom played a trombone right. in a big, empty theater. Well, organs have a trombone setting, so we can fake it. Okay. <laughs> He's just shaking his head so fast it might snap right off. You do that way too well. Dying to it. You do that way too well. The, the little laugh at everything. It's like there's a part in that where he just emotes Tigger. Yeah. <laughs> the most wonderful thing about Harry. This is the Harry that's wonderful. God! Now's when you should just stop talking. But we're laughing so good. So do you remember that Aussie guy that came, not Mark, but the other Australian who came yeah. with the, the two girls? Yeah. He got on my Facebook today and wrote ages of the many ways in which pretty much we suck at our job, we are all horrible people, and just everything, just completely ripping into us. The guy who was like... And he really fucking awesome. hates moves. Yeah. The, the Australian guy, yeah, Clutus. He was like absolutely mind blown by the whole facility. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't said anything in months, 
He never sent a contact us saying, he never pulled anybody aside, just like, hey, this kind of sucked. He completely shit on Moose, completely shit on Editor, and then he took a chunk out of my ass. And, and then I deleted the whole thing, because I'm like, fuck you, and I just deleted the whole comment thread, like the original post and everything. And then he came back and wrote another half a page. I'm just like, fuck you. Unfriended his ass. And not as bad as him posting that, posting that video of the physics fail. You commented on how the bitch moved in front of the swing. Oh, board. yeah. Physics failed my ass. Yeah, physics didn't do anything wrong. The dumb twat moved a foot forward and the guy doing the demo didn't notice it. Back up. I should check my time. Ah, here. Start a new clip. I'm back. I'm back. Keep going. That's good. What's up, Jerry? He wants to hang the ball. You're just waiting for the moment when balls are touching. Okay. 1966, Ben E. King, Capitol Records. Stand by me. Yes, for a giant rainbow parachute, yeah. which I just told him about, and he had both Moose and Rocco come in. Batman, you fuck! What? Don't try to catch those, they hurt. What's wrong with that one? Throw that to Batman, let him see if he can figure out what's wrong with it. Aw, oh, Batman. Holy shit. Yeah, see? That was probably from storage. That's what I'm guessing, it got bent in storage. I should have another one. Well, you better make it up. Boss. Oh. Oops. Down. When a night the land is dark and the moon is the ow fuck that hurt hey we should tape these joints or trim them I just took a chunk out of my finger hey don't do that hey fuzz nuts what at no point ever do you move under a forklift in the air? Ever. You just zip under here. You don't do that. You go around. I catch you under my basket when I'm in the forklift, I will drop shit on your head on purpose. That is not safe. Hey, Batman! You gotta back me up! Second my ass, back me up! Good. It's like I knew we were doing this build and had a handful of pieces. That's why I love you, Batman. Holy shit, the forklift clock is almost on there. Keep going. Don't boop the camera, but you want to be pretty close. Stop. That'll work. I am like a quick link master at this point. Really? Bellatini started whistling 76 trombones. We, that's, that's the musical we're on. It's freaky, the amount of musical theater knowledge we just have. I spent time in Yeah, but it's just, for me. it's just freaky. How is this surprising? You are so beautiful, high. I'm bleeding. I'm huh? getting blood on the connections, just so you know. Yay. Well, start crying. Ah, that one got it. I don't know what 80s shit is. 
What? Auto expose. Auto exposure adjust. It's the auto exposure, AE. I'm missing way more fueling than I thought I was. We're three short. I'm looking at the bottom. Oh, well, that's not my problem. I'm purely the top. I knew we had like a set of four balls to spare. But I'm looking, I think there might be more than eight. No, it might just be eight. Now the bottom's your problem, I'm the top. Fuck. I think we'll be good. And the last one. Quick links my ass. I just spent the better part of 40 minutes doing this. Could be worse. I mean... Well, we've got 80 of these damn things that I just did. I think it's 80. Now we put the lower beams on. Yeah, now we put the lower beams on and then start hanging balls. Yay, ball hanging. This thing on the way. Look at that. Bloody, silty. I may or may not have a little chunk of metal in there at this point. I don't know. At least you don't have Ebola. Because you didn't I'm bleeding. I might have Ebola. I'm but oozing blood. But you didn't eat the chocolate. So you're safe. <sighs> that poor girl is probably going to hear all the Ebola jokes. For well, a long she came home from Africa yesterday, so Sorry. she's going to hear Ebola jokes for a while. Did you hear about my Ebola pool? Rocco had mentioned something. What is it actually for? I'm, I'm doing a betting pool on Ebola. Okay, what's the... Okay, here's how it works. There's a specific rule for what constitutes the end of the outbreak. It's like 45 days with no new cases. It's something like 45 days. It's a weird number. It isn't like a nice round. Okay. But it's like 42 days with no new cases, and then that's the official end of the outbreak, right? Okay. Well, they publish, there's a list of the death tolls of all the Ebola outbreaks throughout, like, since it was discovered in 76. So, 20 bucks buys you a number, you can buy as many numbers as you want. Whoever picks the closest number to the actual official death toll, you gotta cite sources, all that, okay? And the, the standard is when it goes to Wikipedia, then, then it's legit, oh, okay. okay? Whoever picks the closest number wins. Out of all the $20 that people kick in to buy a number, 50% gets donated to the Geek Group, the other 50% goes to whoever wins. Okay. It's a nice, simple, clear thing. But to Ebola death, it's morbid as hell, but it's as good a thing to bet on as anything. Sure so, uh, yeah. Should, shouldn't the other half go to, like, you know, Ebola research? It could, but if the Ebola research wants to do their own fundraiser on Ebola, then they can start that. They're getting, like, they might hundreds of millions of dollars of support. We might raise a couple of grand. I think they'll get bought. Yeah, I know, I know. I can't wait to hear the comments on this one. For research purposes. Huh? Her company just won a quarter million dollars. Yeah, she just got a quarter million dollars for a little centrifuge project. Right. So they, they've got funding. We don't. So, yeah. Ebola death pool. Fine. 17, One. 11 hours, and the framework assembly is done. You have to find number one. Yeah, find ball number Four one. Correct. What? All the way around. <laughs> no. Off to a good start. The fuck? Oh, shit. We got spares. We're running up. Swap it out. All right, find number two. It's going to be done at the, we're starting at that end. Don't be putting shit. Yeah, they, they got to go in order. What? At least number one is a red ball, not another letter. Yeah. What you saw before? We'll be back. Spells out the sponsor's name. Is that all? Yep. Mm -hmm. www.900global.com. That's what it spells. It so much because they were just pretty. But once we get to a certain point, we'll start spelling the name. 
Which I remember 17 ball. I wondered whether there was like an alignment. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see some of that. Yeah. They'll be back around in about 10 minutes. Yeah? Yeah. How's it running? Not bad. All right, we are just about out of battery, so I can't really blog tonight. Get this for you. What? What'd you do? That's what you do. Ooh, did. that hurt a little there. Oops. That's... Yeah, that's not going to fly anymore. Okay. So it's Geek Group Flight Club, it's 2100 hours, and we're hanging out with the gang. And we can't shoot vlog, because you guys got to see so much vlog today that I got two dead batteries. So, suck it. That's the day. It's Cool Flight Club.